California, about an hour and change away from Los Angeles as we prepare for our next matchup. Shelly Spencer and Tori Macon. Let's take a look at our Corona table to take Corona home. So it is Joey Spencer taking on Corey Macon. Joey Spencer, just 18 years of age. Joey Spencer Ready flights. Points? Do not blink. Hello. thinking about getting the five guys endorsement. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. I was literally just talking about it. So that's what's on my mind. And then also getting it some, for right now, I just want some cold apple juice. I don't know why. Well, I do know why I'm thirsty, but I don't know why apple juice is what I want so bad. That's what I want. In the right frame of mind, just uh, keeping it cool, nice and relaxed, and uh, don't want him thinking about the fight. Because once he locks in, that'll be the end. Go. There we go. Sammy, Joey's here. Sammy. Good to see you. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Once you guys get done with the photos and everything. How are you, man? Good to see you. You, uh, you don't like to take your time on all your fights. I mean, you come in, you start your jab, and then. Boom, it feels like the first power punch that your opponent takes. It's like, it's only a matter of time at that point. You kind of feel that way? Uh, Mike, I can just say one more thing. Um, I'm kind of doing a dedication thing for the fight. I lost, we lost a person. We had a tragedy in my hometown. A uh, kid named Aaron Steedman passed away. I'm dedicating the fight to him. My outfit is going to have a 35 on it. That was his football number. So just so there's no confusion on that. and. Uh, Joey Spencer is in the house. You're good. You're good. We got it. I think we took care of yeah, you. Yeah, you're all set up right. yesterday. Took care of good to see you, man. All right. And Joey Spencer and his dad. Yep. Yep. There we go. About to hit the weigh-ins. Hopefully, I'll be up early enough because I need an apple juice. I'm excited to make weight. Get ready to fight tomorrow. Excited to handle my business. I'm ready to rock. I think they're going to start a little bit early, so got to get in there. What's up? Hey. Showtime, baby. Showtime. So what do you say to you out there? Nothing nice. You didn't have anything nice to say? No, neither did I. Had a little bit of a curveball. I woke up this morning with my eyelids swelling up uh, out of nowhere for, for no reason. I don't know what could be causing that, but uh, my eyes are burning. I got a little bit of, starting to mess with my vision a little bit, starting to see a little bit fuzzy. So trying to get to the bottom of that and see what could be causing it and see what I could do to fix it. I hope they don't get any worse because if the commission sees, they could maybe possibly think something or put the fight on hold or, you know. He wakes up this morning and it's fight, you know, fight day, and uh, his eyes are kind of swelling together, you know, itching real bad. And so, of course, I got calls into our our team doctor and trying to figure out what we're going to do, how to how to get the swelling down in his eyes. Um, already starting to obstruct his vision a little bit. Is he going to enter the ring tonight? 
It's going to depend on how messed up it is, I guess, and that's going to be a, a decision that Joy and I will you know, have to make together with, with the rest of the team and um, our doctor. And not definitely not going to put him in, in harm's way, not going to put him in any kind of major disadvantage. We want to just obviously weigh, weigh what we're dealing with and, and make the best choice. Hey, Dad. Good. How are you? Yeah. Yes, sir. No problem. Um, hey, Joe. So I'll give you a rundown. So like yesterday, his eyes really started kind of burning around his eyes, and his whole face is like burning. So started putting like some Neosporin on. He said that was making it feel better. Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Really appreciate you as always. Really appreciate you taking the time to call us. Yeah. Happy to. Yeah. All right, buddy. So yeah, we're on tonight. Um, everything else, he's great. <laughs> it's just like we just keep hitting these little things, man. My goodness. Yeah. It's already melts. As of right now, it's getting better as time goes on. So you think there'll be a fight at this point? Yeah, yeah, there's gonna be a fight, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be ready. really uncomfortable being this close to you. Can you imagine how I feel every day of my life? Alright, right, Father God, we, we thank you again for just bringing us here. We thank you for the opportunity. Lord, we thank you for gifts and abilities and your provision. And uh, I just pray for joining tonight. First round. <laughs> First round. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, Dave. Just want to let all the followers and subscribers, if you don't know, Floyd Mayweather was ringside shouting and cheering and congratulating you after your great performance. So I, I just wanted to just kind of recap. About an hour out, man. How you feeling? Feeling good, just getting ready. You Make ready? sure everything's in place. Getting loose? Yeah. Feeling good? Yeah. I'm sitting in there like tapping my toes. Yo, he's, a, he's still a young man and uh
some of these guys, they don't take him serious, but uh, I think that it's going to change and he's going to show what it's all about. And he has been showing that already. It's time to take Joey really serious because he's, got, he's going all the way. Stephen family, uh, terrible car accident that happened in my community. Took the life of a young young man that went too, too soon. So I just wanted to dedicate this to them and anybody who was close to him in my community. And this was for Lennon. Out with that right hand that Canelo hit Kirk. I just watched the fight, probably the fight I watched most. That was a massive Thank you, man. champion, brother. Champion. Okay. Well, thank you, man. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat all this pizza. And... Would you like? Some, you think I'm too young to eat all this pizza? Some crushed chilies and the cheese. Um, you know what? I'm good with this. Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate I'd like it. some of the fresh chilies. Okay. Let's talk about how cool it was just to be able to dedicate the fight to the Stephen family, and then obviously getting the result that you were looking for. Uh, it was an honor. You know. Uh, being able to make it more than just about the fight, you know, being able to make it about something bigger than that. And um, it motivated me, and it was a really special night. And uh, it took what would have been just the fifth fight, the fifth win, and it made it more of a, you know, a landmark in my career because I, you know, of what I was doing it for. And I knew that my hometown was watching me, and I knew that they were thinking about him as well. And um, I've gotten some feedback about the fight party, and. Um, I, I heard it got really emotional at some points, and I'm just glad that we were able to shed light on that situation and um, get everybody to rally together because that's what it's all about, you know. And uh, we got to stick together when things like this happen. So um, that's the good thing about this movement and what we're doing is, you know, it's an opportunity for us all to come together every fight, you know. <laughs> 